You haven't said a word since we woke up. Charlie, talk to me. What's wrong? I cheated on my wife. Oh, oh God, it's, it's Vicky. Poor Vicky, she's gonna be... Echo! Ma, it's Rex, I need to talk to you. Charlie. Can you? You're, um, you're, you're looking for Charlie. Yeah, he kind of disappeared. Oh, um, you know, um, place is, is a, a, a bit of a mess, but you know what? Come on, come on in. Come in. I, I haven't seen him since, um, Vicky threw me out of the house. Why? Well, we're kind of afraid that he may have gone out last night gone out oh, you mean drinking oh no 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 charlie wouldn't have fallen off the wagon he's been sober for so long well we know we ordered a drink well maybe it was for somebody else i don't think he would have touched it rex i can i can promise you that i mean charlie is totally devoted to his sobriety well he kind of had a rough day yesterday why what happened you haven't seen the papers well, I haven't been out yet. Yesterday, at the wedding... I don't even know how to say this. Clint switched the DNA results. Charlie isn't my father. Clint is. Oh, my God. I, I thought the DNA test cleared all that up and that Charlie was your father. Oh, God, no wonder everybody was so worried about him. He took it pretty hard. We all did. You know, I was hoping it was Charlie, too. And I'm so sorry about all the things that Clint said at the wedding. But you know how hateful he can be. You are a wonderful young man, and anyone would be proud to have you as a son. I know I am. Charlie adores you, and Shane, and Gigi. I'm hoping that after all this calms down, I still want him to consider himself part of my family. I know he'd like that. I had to tell Shane. Now that everybody knows, I wanted to hear from somebody else. He was disappointed. He got quiet. I asked him if he wanted to talk, but... Well, he's 14. He trusted Charlie. He loves him. Why wouldn't he? Charlie's a great guy. He's the best. <sighs> he's just, you know, he's the kind of guy that uh, will always be there for you. You know, it, he's exactly the kind of person that you would want, that I would want to be my dad. Look, Joey, I know you. I understand how you feel about Charlie. He's a wonderful man, and I'm very fond of him. I know you are. I also know that you don't exactly get along with Vicky. Well, she threw me out. What well, is her house? You're tough. But I suppose you come by it honestly. Thing is, Charlie is married. And Vicky is going crazy. He didn't come home last night. So if you hear anything, can you let me know? Of course. Thanks. I put you in. You're lying to your son. It's not important. What? Lying is what got us into this mess, okay? You heard Rex. Vicky is, is beside herself, worried about me. Look, Charlie, I know that what happened with us last night was just because you were 
upset about Rex. Look, I was upset, but that is not why I came by here. And I think you know that. Mom, Charlie, I wasn't drunk, and I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, sure, yes, I was angry with Clint, and I was upset over losing Rex, but look, I'm not making any excuses here. Last night was not some mistake. And, and Vicky? She's my wife. She thinks I'm out on a bender right now. Everybody else says too. You know, so I, I, I gotta go. Charlie, I just, I just need you to know that what happened last night meant something to me too. And it wasn't just because of nostalgia or, or the grief that we shared over the loss of a son we thought was ours. It was who we are. It's who we are. And here I go, out on a limb. I care about you. I care about you too more than, than I have a right to. Are you gonna tell Vicky? I... I don't know. Oh.